The following is a true story that I'm positive happened, but cannot find a conventional explanation for. When I was four years old, my family lived in military housing in Winnipeg in the early 70s. I had an older brother, six at the time, and a younger brother who would have been one year old. Our house was a bungalow with a fairly conventional layout for that time. Living room, kitchen, dining room, at one end of a rectangular structure, and bedrooms, bathroom, connected to a hallway at the other end. One day, I was sitting in the hallway where I could see my parents in the kitchen and could also look down the hall towards the doors in the bathrooms. No one was down the hall other than my one-year-old brother who I think was sleeping in his room. I was looking down the hall when I saw something impossible. There were two bedroom doorways on the left side of the hall. What I saw came out of the door on the left closest to me. It was about eight to ten feet away. As I watched, a skeletal arm slowly emerged into the hallway, horizontally at my eye level, until the elbow was almost showing, but not quite. Then, it slowly retracted in the exact same fashion into the room. I remember that the bones looked very real. I now know that they were the color of real bones and were clearly not any kind of plastic replica. The arm bones seemed like they were the size of an adult male's. I know for certain that we didn't have anything that resembled those bones at the house. I also knew for certain that my older brother was not in that area of the house. I could see my parents in the kitchen, and it would be unlike them to play such a scary prank on a four-year-old. And I don't know if I can explain it, but it was clear by the smooth and steady movement of the arm that it wasn't something being held by someone. It looked as if it was attached to its owner. My impression was that the arm's owner was aware of me and deliberately revealing itself to me in a non-threatening manner. Despite my age, I knew that what I had just seen was extraordinary. I noted that it was the middle of the day, and I was sitting up and wide awake. Of that, I was positive. There was simply no explanation. I wasn't terrified, as one would think. It just simply happened and was done. I had zero interest in going down and looking in that room to see what was there, though perhaps the apparition was an invitation to do so. I didn't tell my parents. Don't ask me why, but, you know, they wouldn't have believed me. Nothing like this has happened to me since this event, and there didn't seem to be any other strange occurrences at that house. A couple of years ago, I finally thought to ask my parents about the house in Winnipeg. They said they hadn't noticed anything strange there, but the previous owner had died while in the military overseas. So... There it is, my one and only experience that I can say with 100% certainty, and will go to my grave believing was an authentic paranormal event. When I was in the 8th grade, back in 2015, I lived at Fort Carson, a military post in Colorado. The house we lived in was pretty normal for military housing. Nothing really felt strange or creepy about the house itself. It was just your regular four-bedroom home in a small neighborhood of identical houses. I had already lived there for a few years and had nothing out of the ordinary happen. And my family, if they did experience anything, they never told me, except my younger brother. My brother is the youngest out of me and my siblings and was only four at the time. So whenever he would talk about things that scared him at night, a lot of the time I just assumed it was his imagination. A year before we moved out of the house, 
My brother would often wake up in the middle of the night and scream and cry as if he was being hurt. First time it ever happened, the whole house ran to his room to see what was wrong, but he was just in his bed, pointing at the door, screaming. He said that he saw a monster in the doorway. At first, we all thought that he had just had a bad dream or a really active imagination. However, almost every week after that, at least once or twice, he would wake up and do the same thing. I've always had a huge interest in things that are paranormal or strange, so after a while I became curious to see if he was really seeing something. One night, in the middle of summer, while I was playing Battlefield 4 with some friends, I got up and I went downstairs for a snack run. When I returned to my bedroom, I thought about what my brother would say about his doorway. Me and my siblings had our bedrooms on the second floor of the house. My room was directly across from the stairs, and to the left of my door was a long hallway with a bathroom between mine and my sister's room. Then, my brother's room at the end. Before I sat back down to continue playing, I decided to check on him, look down the hallway to his room. Standing in his doorway was a tall figure that almost didn't fit in the doorway. The top of its spine was pushed against the top, and I could only see the bottom half of its head. It had pale skin and backwards legs, like a goat except they were human legs. It was facing the inside of my brother's room, towards his bed. I stared for a few seconds before I went back into my room and shut the door. What I'd seen shook me up a bit, but I reassured myself that I was probably seeing things as all day I'd been watching ghost videos and listening to creepy pastas. So I decided to take another look. I wish I didn't. This time... The thing was facing down the hallway, staring back at me. Its face had almost no features, except for dark holes for eyes, and its arms hung almost all the way to the floor. I froze, and immediately felt sick. And after what felt like an eternity, I pulled my head back into my bedroom and shut and locked the door. My brother didn't wake up that night, and he later would be afraid of my bedroom too, even during the day. I never left my room at night until we moved out of that house, and I didn't tell anyone about it for a few years. I still think about it from time to time, but often doubt if I really saw what I had seen. Any of you have any similar encounters? <laughs>